part of the task. They were sat in the kitchen eating some food yeah. that uh, Imran had prepared because he was they're the cooks in the in the tea room. Oh, yeah, and they got and in he trouble. went in and yeah. had a go at them and he I can't I haven't got all of it, but I've got him he said to them, You're selfish. so fucking yeah. fucking selfish. Yeah. He was actually genuinely was angry he spent at that. Three hours cooking. But how come they had gone in there and just helped themselves while I don't Big Brother know. gathered everyone else in the living room? Like, how did they not know? What had he spent three hours cooking? Because it looked like salad. <laughs> was it? I thought it was spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> no, but like, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> do I hate people going about how long they've spent cooking. It gets on my nerves. So next, I've written... <laughs> do you? I didn't it... ask you to cook for me. Shut up. No, it's, it's the task he has to. Oh. <laughs> he works in the tea room. Shut up. Come on. Come here and be quiet. <laughs> um, so next we had the eruption between Hannah and Lotan. And I've written, why the fuck is Hannah yelling at Lotan? Mm. Now, people seem to have thought that Hannah was in the right. Now, this is where we get into the whole debate mm-hmm. about what's been... Always in the right. Always in the right. This, is, the right. <laughs> this is erupted on Twitter. Yeah. Now, I felt that whenever... <laughs> that cat looking at me. Whenever what... Ever happened that I don't know what, what it even is happened? I don't between even know. Hannah and Loton. Mm-hmm. Loton sat down with her in the kitchen mm-hmm. and tried to talk to her. Okay, but she started just yelling at him, mm-hmm. and I had no idea what on earth was going on. I didn't either. The trouble is, you see these things out of context, you don't really know. Mm. No, I'm not saying that Loton Loton in the right, Loton in the front. Loton <laughs> wasn't being racist or anything like that. And no, I he wasn't. And I don't think he was. I absolutely don't think he was. But the way people on Twitter were going, oh, Hannah's playing the race card and all this, just makes me fucking sick. The way that people say that. It's like, you don't know what it's like to be a black person, to live in that in those shoes and to have people, like, literally think you're going to mug them because you're just walking down the street just because of the colour of your skin. But do you think people think that of girls? Yeah. Hannah? Yes. Do you think people would get... People yes. would react like that? What, women? Yes, because my... <laughs> I've got I've got black friends, you know. <laughs> no, I hope you. no, but my friend who I who I work with, and we talk about race all the time. We talk about it all day long. Mm. And she said, and she's a thirty eight year old woman, and she says she walks down the street and people clutch their handbags. And but she's, she's a she's respectable a, member of the she's community. She's a comms professional. It's not like she's walking down the it's, road in a hoodie. It's like... purely because of the colour of her skin. So I know for a fact that it happens, and that's just from me hearing about it. That's not me living that. Imagine living What's that. What's wrong with people? And, exactly. Imagine living that and feeling that way. And I know it's true because my ex boyfriend, after me, he had a black girlfriend, and he said the way that they got treated out together was just it opened his eyes so much. And this is just in London. Yes, and this is just me second-hand experiences and I feel absolutely disgusted about that. That's not me going from a lived experience. I'm not being Michelle Visage. I don't know how it feels. So but you basically... Can, you can imagine how it feels. So I'm not No, but we don't know how it feels. So that is... No. That's white privilege. That's what it is yeah. defined because we just you, don't get it. No, you can't I imagine. think I can't... Because I'm not like that. I can't mm. imagine that that happens. Like, how can people... Like, okay, I might be... I might feel threatened by someone mm. who was approaching me who looked shady, who was in a hoodie, mm. but I'm not judging that upon race, I don't mm. think. Mm-hmm. But maybe you are, you don't know. A lot of these things are just built into us. No, but it could be a white person, you still feel yeah. the same. But a lot of these things are just built into us. And also, you're a gay man, so you know what it is to experience prejudice. Do you know what I mean? I haven't had much, to be quite honest with you. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, I suppose I am. <laughs> but it's... I don't know, I just think when white people go, oh, you're playing the race card, like, how fucking dare you? Like, we don't have a race card to play because we're white and we're in a privileged position Mm. and have been for hundreds and hundreds of years. So for you to go play the race card, I just think, how fucking dare you? Because you should be glad you don't have that card to play. And I don't think Lotan was being out for but at the same time, we don't see what goes on. And if she feels like that, and also, I have heard people calling her aggressive many, many times, and she is a moody cow, but people do talk about her in a different way to how they talk about Kaylee, because Kaylee is aggressive as fuck, and no one speaks about her like that. So many people have exhibited aggression. Yeah. Uh, exactly, and no one says it like that. And then there's people on Twitter going, "Oh, she got chip on her." The thing is, this. my 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 issue with these two Did was that when they walked into the yeah. house, I thought they were yeah. going to be bubbly and yeah. bright, and they just seemed to be miserable the whole time. They are miserable. It's, I think they. I think Arthur was right. They're crap housemates. I do not yeah. like. I don't like them. I feel a bit sorry for them, but I don't. I don't think they're entertaining, and I wish. But they were. are they being like that because of 
particular relationships in the house and making them feel a certain way and that they can't sh- be themselves, I mm, suppose. It yeah. could be. That could be the case. We're not going to see everything Tr- in Truth there. is, we don't know, and do we? We're not ever going to know. No. But fucking Helen Wood, again, tweeted. What about her? She's tweeted, oh, just about playing the race. I liked you until you played the race card. Fuck off. What the fuck do you know about being a black woman, Helen? Just go fuck yourself, bitch. The thing for me is, like, what if it isn't anything to do with race, but yeah. it's because of things that people have experienced that they think that it is? Yeah, It's that's like, how true. are you ever going to overcome that? Yeah. But I don't that, know. But that's like saying are things like nature or nurture. You can't... You No one lives in a vacuum. We're all a product of our own experiences, aren't we? So you can... That you, could be my tattoo <laughs> of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you can only approach things from your life experiences. That's why, like, someone... Yeah. Someone told me there's... I t- probably told you this before but someone told me there's this drug that you can take I think no. it might be DMT and everyone has exactly the same experience on it and I said that's impossible there's no way there could be a drug where everyone has the exact same experience no. because everything you experience is from your memories from your childhood and this and that and the other but also you not. can't you could never fully in- understand someone's internal experience it's, of anything exactly and it turned out it wasn't true everyone has some people have see an owl some people see an <laughs> alien so <it's> all, <laughs> like alien. everyone sees that alien <laughs> from big brother israel yeah it was kind of like that it was similar sorts of things but it wasn't the exact same thing but it's like that it's like you are a product of of your childhood your genetics everything like that so and you can't it's just so easy for you to look at a situation from your perspective and go well that's how it is and that isn't how it is for everyone. Yeah, you have like, to see it from the, their p- position. But there's so many people who just aren't willing to step into no, that's the what, one's shoes. No, what made me sad about that was yeah. it kind of divided people so much. And yeah. it just like highlighted that there mm. is a problem there. Yeah. And then there were like white people saying it's playing the race card. And mm. there were black people saying, well, you're part of the problem. And yeah. I thought, oh shit, well, yeah. when does this stop? I don't it, know. It, no, it never stops. And even when, it, I'm not sure if it was Hannah or Deborah, sorry, who brought it up when they were sat on the couch and she said how she felt about it. I'm not sure if this was this day or the next day. Rebecca, like, pulled a face when she said, like, oh, I feel like I get called aggressive because of my colour. Rebecca, like... Did she pulled... actually... I don't remember yeah. this discussion. She, uh, I, on might, a different episode. It might have been the next day. It might have been this day. But I saw Rebecca's face and she pulled a face and I just thought, fuck you, don't dismiss someone else's experience like that. I would mm. never dismiss someone's experience like that. So I... I'm coming at it purely as a spectator and an observer. But yeah, I just, of half a fucking story, so yeah. we don't know what's really gone on. But I just feel like I'm willing to take their word for it that they feel like that. Well, no, they do feel like that, yeah. because you can see that's yeah. how they feel. So... And I'm going to take their word for it, so mm. fuck the race card, and anyone who says race card, you can get off my timeline and get off my Twitter, fuck you. But you are being crap housemates. So, so... Yeah, that's, a, that's more offensive than anything else, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I don't know how they're going to start having a better time, though. I don't either. Maybe if they put some other people are saying in people have they're... been saying it's because of the people they're in with, yeah, and it's not the right dynamic. Yeah, they need to put a more mix but... of a different mix of people in there. Like, oh, people from all over the country. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all over the <laughs> this is a shows. true represa- representation yeah. of British yeah. society today. Strong and stable. It's like Hel- uh, Helen. <laughs> e- e- Emma's like literally like Theresa May just towing the party line, isn't she? Yeah. And she don't want to go out and meet the public evil. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm trying to work out where the hell I am in my notes now. Do you know where you are? Um... <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so Hannah said, as a black girl, they try and get the worst out of you. That's interesting because I don't think that's true. But if she feels like that, that's interesting. But was she talking about? Was this in the diary room? Yeah. Was she talking about the housemates or? Big I think brother? she just meant people in general. Okay. Uh, I think. Um, <laughs> I said. Check. I know. I got this chat between them. I said, check your privilege, and I had to look up how to spell privilege. That's how out of touch with mine I am. Uh, <laughs> um, and then Kieran said, I don't understand what's going on. And I said, me either. No, me neither. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got the Rebecca and Deborah bit, where mm. Rebecca had said, do yourself a favour and stop being so aggressive. Mm. And Deborah said, you're the one going psycho over someone who doesn't want you. Okay. About Kieran. Oh, okay. So it got, oh, that was the uh, low that blow was it. Thing. That was it. And, and then, then I've written, row, 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 boring. <laughs> but then Hannah said, if you walked in my shoes every day and 10 million people tell you you're aggressive all the time, I take that personally. Now, on Twitter, loads of people go, oh, well, if 10 million people are telling you aggressive, you probably are aggressive then. 
And I go back to, well, if people are clutching their fucking handbag when you're walking down the street, that's going to make you a bit fucking aggressive. And that's just one example of things that happen. Black people get fucking followed around the shops. They get fucking killed by cops. Look at what Arissa said about dogs when we were talking about that. That's true. And like... It's not just one thing that happens to them. It's a series of things. Black people who send in CVs for jobs, if they've got a foreign-sounding name, black or brown people, they don't get the job. Because so, it's it's so many different things. Is she saying that basically aggression is a product of the experience or it's a cultural thing to be more... I, I don't know. Not I don't want to use the word aggressive. I don't know what the word is. I think she's... Par- I, think, I feel like she's partly Passionate, saying... Passionate, I think I've heard used as a as an alternative i feel like she's saying i'm no more aggressive than a white person but they but don't get if, labeled but, it yeah but if i am more aggressive then it's probably because everyone's calling me aggressive that's kind of what i think she's saying P- please if you think we're saying anything out of turn do let us know because what i'm trying to be as objective as i can coming from a white standpoint the thing is i do think that her behavior <laughs> that she's exhibited has been aggressive yeah, she has been. but i also do think that kaylee's been aggressive and i think that aggressive. tom's been aggressive yeah most people I have don't been. Know about Arthur. Vinders, Arthur's been a wind-up merchant. Saint Vinders aggressive as fuck. Definitely. <laughs> and when Chanel put that bag on her head. <laughs> <laughs> um, then... I just want them to start being fun and being... Yeah. So, hang on a minute. Remember when they walked into the house? Oh, you're going to hear my annoying laugh. I haven't heard them laugh oh, once. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> they always look miserable. God, they're so sour. So then Kaylee and St. Vinder had a row. Did they? Yeah, I don't. I've put. I don't know what that was about. But anyway, uh, Sukvinder yeah. saying, "Don't, don't call, call me Suk because my name's Sukvinder. <laughs> yeah. It's not Suk." <laughs> Again, she just took that back though, didn't she? Like she yeah. was okay with it yeah. for a while. Yeah, like, I don't like you like, now, so yeah. you can't. Mm-hmm. And then Kaylee was in the diary room and she said, "My fucking boyfriend has Charlotte Crosby tattooed on his fucking leg." No wonder she's so fucking angry. What? Did you miss that? Yes. Kaylee said in the diary room her boyfriend used to go out with Charlotte Crosby and he's got Charlotte Crosby. What? Her face or her name? Oh, that's what I... I, I need to see this tattoo. I put, was it her old face, her new face, or a <laughs> portrait of her wetting the bed? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Kaylee's Maybe boyfriend? you can't see her because it's actually full of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> can't see Emma. No wonder Kaylee's so angry. I'd be angry if I had to look at a tattoo of Charlotte Crosby every day. He should go on just tattoo of us or whatever it's called. <laughs> Isn't she on that? Yeah. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> and can have it turned into bear instead. <laughs> yeah. um, so this is the only reason why Marnie has been sent in there. Yeah. Because she's yeah. from Geordie Shore as well. Yeah. Is she a cousin? A cousin? I've no, they're just f- idiot friends. <laughs> um... Then, so the homeless else? next bit was the homeless people were glamping in the garden, right? <laughs> on, like, on their camp beds. Uh, oh, and then Kaylee was sat on the stairs while people were in the hot tub, and she was bitching about Marnie's disgusting behaviour at a charity event. <laughs> I want to know what Marnie did. <laughs> Probably trying to lick her own nipple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if it raised a few pounds, it's all right. <laughs> uh, I've put. Uh, what are the point of the VIPs even being in there? What is the point in life? This is the worst episode ever. (laughs) These are dark days. Yeah, it was. It was the worst episode ever. The only good thing is Tom has hardly been in this episode. (laughs) I've literally got so few notes on this episode. Oh, it's dreadful. Well, what about tonight? We had hardly any notes on tonight. It was dreadful. All that happened was Sukvinda came to the diary room concerned about being in the position of mayor and people not doing their jobs. (laughs) That whole mayor thing just totally passed me by. stupid. I just felt so disconnected from it. Those guests tried to cook pizza and I think... Mm. Imran wasn't having it because it's mm-hmm. against the rules. Mm. Um, Are we on Thursday now? No, not yet. Just almost. I am. So Vinda oh. bailed out of Rose Cottage to Thorn Cottage. Oh, that was it. Which was the nice one. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the, the celebs were in the nice one. Mm. So basically, rules of rules on this task task were being broken left, right, and centre. And then they passed the task. I know. Uh... And, um, Black Jungle Snake. <laughs> picked up on that <laughs> you like that didn't you I did like he, that I was like hang was on angry about someone's that. actually keeping track yeah. of this fucking task yeah. amongst all this bullshit of all the things to be angry about and has realised he was that angry about they that. shouldn't have passed it <laughs> 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 that's the sort of shit I should be caring about but even I've forgotten we don't care about that <laughs> shit anymore <laughs> right next Thursday mm-hmm. next Carry Thursday on. I wish <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the episode started with Gemma Collins ringing a bell. Saying that she likes her tomatoes seasoned in tarragon. (laughs) Yeah, and a chip fat. Um, And then... (laughs) 
Okay, let's just set, let's just get it out in the open because anyone listening two hours in is in deep with us anyway. Fucking hell. Gemma Collins looks the size of a fatter than last year and she and she was fat last year and I don't mind be as fat as you like I'm fat